my experience at the George Floyd protest in Charlotte, North Carolina. What do black people do to y'all to make y'all want to fight for a system that don't like Watois family, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watois. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out. I went to the protest downtown Charlotte um, today. The protest was organized by the NAACP. The protest was for basically equality. It was more so about bringing all races together, all ethnicities. Anyone that's ever been discriminated against. You know, it's not just one geared to one one race is if you ever felt any kind of discrimination ever in your life then the protest that happened in charlotte today was definitely the one to be at Right in front of Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center. This is literally right down the street from my job. And I love this. I love it. Look at the flag down there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Hold on. Can I zoom? All right, there we go. It's strength in numbers, man. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers, man. With our family out here, man. Anything for a good cause like this, we're gonna come out. As y'all can see, the Bank of a uh, Bank of America building back there. So we are the Duke Duke Power Energy Duke Energy building back there. So we are in Charlotte. We're definitely Charlotte, North Carolina. My bad, guys. It's hard for me to talk with this mask on, but I got to keep it on. Because the corona is real, coronavirus is real. But at the end of the day, I will risk my life to bring the Latois family this footage. Because this right here, this is revolution. This is something that in my years of living in my life, I have never, ever witnessed, ever in my life. I've always read about it in class, in high school, middle school, about Martin Luther King and, you know what I'm saying, everybody else that did their marches and and did their speeches and stuff. So for me to be able to experience this in real life, man, it's crazy, man. It's definitely a beautiful thing. Um, we have a helicopter out here. There's a lot of police presence, but it's been peaceful. And that's the one thing that I can't say that I like. It's been very, very peaceful. Um, everybody here has been here showing love, showing respect, also expressing their feelings about what happened. The power, the power of the people when they come together and also the power of social media. Today on YouTube, we did a, um, 
we did a blackout on YouTube. We did a blackout on Instagram. And um, just to basically show our support. Definitely want to show our love to um, George, Floyd, George Floyd and his family. It's wild, man. It's wild. It's wild. Let me turn around. Let me turn around. So I can see the people. I do feel safe. Thank you for everybody in the comment section, in the chat right now. Thank you for praying. But I, I do, I do feel safe here. I don't feel any, I don't feel any animosity out here. Um, everyone seems to be in peace. There's been a lot of people trying to help, as far as giving water, as far as um, giving snacks like fruit juice if you need it also they have medical um, they have face masks if you need face masks somebody just did a burnout um, but they also have face masks if you need face masks um, what else what else have I noticed um, oh yeah I've noticed that when you're walking the one thing that I noticed is when you're walking there's a lot of people that come up to you and actually if you need anything that's one thing that I like. See like that that person right there as you can see. See they're giving they're giving water and other supplies out for free. Just here, take, take, stay hydrated. You know what I'm saying? Stay fueled up. Cause this is definitely this is definitely a marathon. This is not a race, it's a marathon. As you can see, he's taking a drink over there too. Cause you're definitely gonna need some water out here. It, it's uh it's about 90 degrees out today. This guy has a sign that says this is war. I don't believe this is war. This is not war. We are not at war. I apologize for that. But um, like I said, that guy had a sign that said this is war. I don't believe this is war. We are not at war. Okay, guys? We are not at war. Somebody passed out. Somebody had passed out. I, I think somebody had passed out. Somebody had passed out. People are rushing in to help. I don't, I'm not sure if somebody fainted. I'm not sure what's going on. Police are coming. There's police that are heading towards there now. Seems like, yeah, it seems like somebody passed out. I hope they are okay. Um, I'm gonna speak on the events that happened um today it started at the charlotte it was at the charlotte mecklenburg government center that's where we all met up that's where everybody met up what i can say was the vibe was so peaceful um the protest was so peaceful um people gathered together um people prayed um people also gave encouraging words um, people were also helpful you know people were eff uh, even effortlessly giving um, a lot of people gave water, fruit, snacks, um, medical. If you needed medical, they had it. Um, a lot of information as well was given out. And um, the vibe and the feel of the protest at the start was simply amazing. It was definitely something that you had to be there to experience. Here's some footages. Keep us 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Everybody's here, man. All colors, all religions, all ethnicities, all backgrounds. Doesn't matter. Our family, we are definitely the change. This right here, this right here is beautiful. This right here is beautiful, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it! I love it. Let's go. No peace. Guys, this, whoa, this is definitely, definitely lit. Definitely lit. It's your boy, Mr. Latois. We point live, Charlotte, North Carolina. Protest. This is not a protest. This is not a protest that just happened overnight or a protest that came from only one person. This has been happening for decades and centuries. If you have not felt discriminated before against, then you cannot feel our pain. This goes for everybody. It's not about race. If you have ever been discriminated against, then you should be out. You should be out. You should definitely be out. We've all experienced it. That's what this is about. Now let's get back to the Red Scale the program. We'll talk then. Yes! There we go, yes! Let's go, let's go!
can with our family, make sure y'all say door for me. Keep me protected out here. Because it, it's definitely going to get turned. Right now we are by the... We're near the baseball stadium. We are definitely near the baseball stadium. We're by Ink and Ivy. The police are definitely directing. They're directing this march. Yeah, they're definitely directing this march because as you can see, they blocked off. They had blocked off. They had blocked off. I believe this is a... Uh, no, it's not Grand Street. Popular? Okay. Yeah, this is South Popular Street. They blocked off South Popular Street. What's up, bro? Salam, bro. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. How are you? Man, I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good, man. We out here protesting, man. Hey, just hey, do me a favor, put the fist up, put the fist up. Salam, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Salam, bro. Salam.
Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is that what I've noticed about these protests and what I've starting to notice, because this is basically, this is probably going to be my third day going out to these protests. And what I've noticed is that during the day, there are people there that are very peaceful, that want to have a peaceful protest, that want to come out there, let their voice be heard, um, you know, stand for something. But then as night starts to fall, you have to be here to witness it. I believe that's where the shift comes and that's where the people who are out there for the good, the people who are out there to protest peacefully, they start to leave and then the people who are like looters, people who loot, people who, you know, entice riots start to come in. Um, there's different names for these groups. And they are definitely amongst the people who are trying to protest peacefully. Um, what I do want to say is that the images that are being portrayed on media as far as it being violent, those are not from the people who are out there protesting peacefully. Those are from people who are trying to use the, basically use what just happened, use the tragedy that just happened to basically fulfill their own personal greediness as far as looting, as far as going out, destroying people's property, you know, destroying businesses and basically to, basically to get, just to get, uh, basically to get something just for themselves. They're not there for the cause. So what I want to say is I want to give a very, very warm welcoming and a warm shout out to the NAACP for coming to Charlotte, North Carolina and for organizing a very, very peaceful and a very successful protest. Everyone's voice was able to be heard. We marched throughout downtown. We was able to march from the government center all the way to the um, BB&T ballpark. Um, there's, a, um, there's like a park that's in front of the ballpark, in front of the BB&T ballpark, and we was able to march from the government center all the way to the ballpark and as you guys know it is very hard to get a it's very hard to get and mind you it, it was at least 2,000 people out there it is very hard to get 2,000 people to sit peacefully in front of a government building but it happened and that image right there just shows you how peaceful and how much people want change and then that also shows you that the city also feels and hears our pain. They hear our hurt. They hear our cries and our voices for them to even allow us to be that close. We were right there on the steps of the government building, right there by the front doors of the government building, right behind the government building is the courthouse. And we were right there. Peaceful. The experience that I have to say was something that you have to have been there. You, if, if, you, if you've never been to a protest, if you've never been to a protest, then this is definitely the best time to come to one. White people on the outside! Protect! White people on the outside! Right now, everybody's meeting on Trader Tryon.
This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Trade and try on. This is like one of the busiest, busiest streets downtown. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. 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 Thank I guess we're gonna go set down the highway. Let's go. <laughs> fist up, fist up, fist up. Fist up, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Salam alaikum, bro. Salam alaikum. <laughs> there we go. Fist up, fist up.
as you guys can see, a lot of these businesses have boarded up their windows and doors. They have boarded up their windows and doors as they do not want anyone to loot through their business. But we are not looting. This is very peaceful. That was wild. Yo, they tried to take one of us. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Wow. Let's go. People are arming themselves with rocks and metal pipes. Stop the blade down. Yeah, guys, I'm in the front. I'm in the front. I'm in the front. I'm in the front with it. 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 Hold on, let me show y'all. Look at that. They're saying, they're saying all the white allies they're saying all the white allies to the front. They want the They want the white, they want the white allies to the front. They want the white people to the front. They want the white people to the front. They want they want the white people to the front. This is about to be lit. There we go. There we go. Smells like sage. Smell, yeah, it smells like sage. They're moving the cup. They are moving the cup. Oh my God! We moved the cup! That's what I'm talking about. Unity, we just moved the cup. They made a barrier and we moved the cops, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I told y'all, it's a thousand people out here. It's a thousand people and probably like maybe 30, maybe 30, 50 cops at the most. This is crazy. You have to be here to witness this. You have to be here to witness it. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Somebody. Somebody threw a brick through the wind. Somebody threw a brick through the thing, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy.
wild. Bro, this is crazy. This is wild, bro. Yo, I just get, I just, I just got hit three times with flashbangs. Never in my life have I ever got hit by flashbangs. That's wild. No. Thank you. 
may be arrested for subject to other police act. No, I'm about to go, I'm going to my first time get back, but that's been that shit. Yeah. Right, control me. And or fresh legal. You can fall into the risk of injury to those who remain. Yo, this is crazy. Um, I suggest that you follow the, your city's guidelines as far as if there's curfew. But make sure you come out there. Let your voice be heard. Stand for something. Stand for something. The, the thing that I always tell the Watwa family is that the day that you stop working hard or the day that you stop anything that, okay, basically anything that you want to do in life, right? Anything that you're working hard to accomplish in life, the day that you stop would have been the day that you made it. So keep going, keep going. And that's how I look at this protest. And mind you, this was my very first protest. Very first one. And it's not going to be my last. I want to thank everyone who, um, I want to thank everyone who came out today in Charlotte, North Carolina for the protest. I want to thank you guys for coming out and, and protesting peacefully. Um, I also want to thank Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department for keeping the ordinance as far as when nightfall for keeping the city safe, for keeping the city basically contained, for keeping the citizens contained. I want to thank the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department and the other um, forces that came to help the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. I want to thank you guys for allowing us to have a peaceful protest. I want to thank the governor as well. And I, but I just want to thank the police officers because those are the guys that I've seen face to face. Those are the guys that I've seen face to face. And I want to thank those police. I want to thank those police officers for keeping us safe out there. I also want to thank the police officers for getting the rioters out and taking them out of the facility and the vicinity, and for diffusing any any negativity, any kind of harm or threat that was coming towards the way of the peaceful protesters. I want to thank you guys so much. But like I said, guys, um, our hearts, the Watois family, our hearts go out to the family of George Floyd. I pray that justice gets served for his family and also for anybody else who has had any kind of, for anybody else who has had any kind of, man, this is hard, man. Basically, anybody who has ever been affected by police brutality, our prayers and our hearts are with you guys and for you guys to, for everyone to um, get justice. Um, this is your boy, Mr. Watwa. If this is your first time on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and join the Watwa family. Um, and guys, I want you guys to stay safe, okay? I want you guys to make dua for everyone in the world that we can get through this because right now we're still in quarantine. My name is Mr. Watwa. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Mr. Watwa, M-R-W-H-A-A-T-W-A-A. -A -A. That's on all social media platforms. I will see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. So please take care, Mwah. stay safe.